seen uh, pictures from the Wicked Bible? No. No. Nope. You're a history. You're a history teacher, right? I just mean I know everything in history. Well, I'm not saying you know it. But you Brian appreciate Highland it. would know. You'll appreciate. Oh, it. you're really gonna go that route? <laughs> I think Chris and Connor would know I'm some things. I'm gonna tag him in this video. Up, go ahead. Look up the Wicked Bible. They, there was a lot of doodling in the margins. Here's my it. question. Old, old Bible. Here's my question. You're a theology guy, okay? Mm -hmm. What does it say about? Like, what is your take? What is the scriptural <laughs> stance? On Christians and boobs, <laughs> because because yeah. I remember my let's be honest, okay, we all do that thing where we go to college and the very first thing, and it's funny too because the very first this has nothing to do with horror, but that's okay. The very first thing you choose to rebel is like the thing that your parents like made the most taboo about. So for me, it was always boobs. In fact, my parents were convinced. Sorry, Dad, if you're actually watching this. My parents. Hi, Mr. Lucia. <laughs> my parents were convinced I was drinking long before I was drinking. So oh. when I finally got fed up, I'm like, you know, I was. I remember, I remember very clearly being at a bar and thinking, I might as well get drunk because my parents already think I am. And that, that so we ordered a white wine spritzer. Yeah. No, actually, I think it was Zima. 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 Ah, it Zima. was Zima. So um, if you know what that is, ah, don't uh, just leave that. If you don't know what that is, you're too young to be watching this video. Yeah. So um. That really is. So, too bad. Know, but then, time. but then later, I remember um, talking. We were. I was in a conversation with my dad, and uh, uh, his friend who was a deacon in the church, and then uh, his friend's wife who was from Germany. And she was saying, you know, she's like, I've always been very confused by the American Christian uh, and their, their uh, adverse to alcohol. They're like, you know, in Germany, we have it every night for dinner. Yep. You know, we have it for lunch. It's just part of our culture. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, sure, you can overdrink just like you overeat. Mm -hmm. But she was like, I, I'm really confused why Americans feel this way. She was the first Christian I'd ever met who was like... Mm -hmm. What is your problem with alcohol? And before we go any further, yes, we know. <laughs> Especially if you've watched some of our videos. O obviously, alcohol has a mood-altering uh, effect to it. But I mean, there's a lot of things that have mood-altering mood effects to it. Uh, sugar does, caffeine does, smoking does. Lots of money. Right. <laughs> um, and I think for a long time, I did not drink at all. Or I felt really bad about drinking because of kind of my Baptist upbringing. But I know Chuck, not only as an engineer... Not only is he a science fiction fantasy horror writer. And a cover model. And a cover. <laughs> he also has Maybe a background not. in theology and yeah. hermeneutics, is it? Well, I mean, no. hermeneutics would be part of the study, but okay. apologetics. So what is your scriptural take regarding the uh, uh, consumption of libations? Well, you already... As I consume my libation right yeah, now. I already have to finish my libations. Down to the chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. um, you already said the key word culture it, it's a cultural thing um it gets back into and this is a historical study go back into the history of uh prohibition go back into the history of anti-alcohol sentimentality in the u.s Carrie canada Nation. yep um this goes back all the way into the 19th this century this could be dangerous you're a theology expert and you're a history expert this could take a while go ahead no i'm not gonna take long this is strictly cultural the, in terms of what the Bible says on, on drinking, it's actually very light, it, and it's actually pretty simple. Don't get drunk. It's, it's really much, it's not, obviously not anti-alcohol, because Jesus is drinking wine. Right, uh, and he wine created is, wine. Yep, yep. Wine is part of the, the ceremonies that are, that are in there. Um, historically, it's been very common. It's more of a don't go too far. Right. And, and my guess on it, because it doesn't say explicitly, is that it has to do with the fact that once you go too far... You make yourself prone to making bad decisions, right? And so that's what the key is. So in, in my mindset, it's really about don't put yourself in a situation where you're going to do something that you regret or that others regret. Okay. That's how I met my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, do, you, do you regret it though? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 that I have another drink and that's I don't. Trish, that's Trish. Really, that's actually a really good point because um, you know uh, we have our. You know, we have our fun here in the horror cave. We talk and we eat and we drink and things like that. But, you know, n none of this is anything like what I did during my 20s. You know, during my 20s, I drank to get drunk. And, well, so did I. And uh, we all did, I think, right? We, we drank to get drunk. Um, bad things happened. 
Now we're drinking things. You were actually joking about this the other day in school. Now we're drinking things that actually taste good. Do they make us a little tiddly? Yes, they do. But we like Enough the, to say the word tiddly. Yeah. Tiddly. You know, we, <laughs> tiddly okay. we went the Starbucks direction. We're not uh, drinking it for the impact. We're drinking it for the, the taste. taste. Right. We're no longer <laughs> drinking just for the impact. So it's, it's interesting how our, our drinking the tastes have matured as well. So and as I've always said, and, and what is it the Irish say? We should, we should end on this. What does the Irish oh, say? Oh, yes. Beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. All mm-hmm. right, then. Thank you. That's into the business position on being a Christian and drinking. <laughs>